Now, if you've been wandering around um, Liverpool today, you may have been feeling a little bereft, knowing that the city has lost something, but you're just not sure what. Well, it's the super lamb bananas. They've gone. Mm. Last night, 68 of them were auctioned off for charity, all to good homes. Here's Lisa McAllister. Basically, just an art form. It's a fundamentally art, and yet I've never seen art grab the imagination the way uh, these lamb bananas have. Danny Doyle, like tens of thousands of others, was left enchanted by the super lamb bananas, so much so he bought one for himself and one for where he works. I was just bowled over by the thousands of people who were milling round these lamb banana things and they were like five or six deep as each one and what struck me as well though was that it was the spectrum of society. Clyde Aram is seen here with the artist who created him will take up residence in Birkenhead Market in the coming weeks. 68 of the now iconic statues were auctioned off last night, raising £550,000, most of which will go to the Lord Mayor's charities. Sergeant Pepper was bought for 11000 Copy here raised £12,000, and it was Mandy Mandela who fetched the biggest bucks of the night, a cool £25,000. Well, the original Super Lamb Banana is the only one on display at the moment in Liverpool. But don't worry, if you're suffering from withdrawal symptoms, Phil Redmond spent £50,000 last night. He plans to donate them to museums here in Liverpool. It seems the city's love affair with the Super Lamb Banana isn't over yet. Lisa McAllister, North West Tonight, Liverpool. There really is something very charming about them, isn't there? Uh, there are also some very wealthy people yes, around bidding money. Probably footballers there, I would yeah, think. Yeah, probably. Like